So let's start as we usually do by grabbing our foam rollers and going up and down the back for just a minute or two. So perpendicular to your spine. And we are rolling from the top where the neck meets the shoulders all the way down to that last rib area, just kind of rocking back and forth. Oh, the nice combination today of back and arm muscles. And the back will be, we'll be doing a little upper back, we'll be doing a little lower back. And arms, same thing, little upper arm, a little lower arm. So, I mentioned if you're a desk worker, this is gonna be some repetitive areas that are probably feeling stressed to you. But even if you don't do anything like desk work, um, I think a lot of, most people can benefit from some low back relaxing and some, um, especially the forearms, we're gonna get into the forearms. So anything like gardening or even lifting heavier weights, like things we do in, Sit camp with gripping muscles, those are going to be what we are working on today. All right. All right. Forget to pause once in a while here when you feel a spot that needs extra work, you can kind of arch your back back and forth over that area. Good. So keep going back and forth. I'm gonna get a little visual up for us here. Okay, so you want to turn your attention to the screen. We're going to start with arms today and we're going to work into the deltoids to begin with. So here we go, deltoids. So not the picture with the computer person typing but below that here, we've got the deltoid area and the top of the shoulder. That is where we're going to be focusing on for our first foam rolling exercise. So grab your foam roller. This is going to require some wall space or you can step into a door frame to work on it. But essentially we're gonna be placing that foam roller right against that shoulder area that I was showing you in the picture that was highlighted. And we're gonna start out with just a gentle up and down movement. So you're going up until you feel like you can kind of reach that bony area. You don't need to massage over that. And that's where your stopping point is. And then you wanna roll down just a few inches into the arm. And if you rotate your body in towards the wall a little bit, you can really get into the belly of the muscle while you're going up and down. So we're gonna do this for a few more seconds and then we're gonna go the other direction on the muscle. So for this, I want you to rotate your body. The foam roller stays in the same place, but you are just rotating your body in towards the wall and then away from the wall. So you can see I'm kind of going the whole span of the front of that deltoid muscle all the way to the back of the deltoid muscle. So we're kind of working in two different planes here, up and down on that deltoid and then left and right as you rotate in and out away from the wall. Good. So go up and down again. So this feels particularly good. Uh, coming off of doing a lot of push-ups and planks, that kind of stuff. We get a lot of shoulder fatigue in that area. So kind of working that out is a good thing to do. Let's switch sides. So now you're gonna have your other shoulder pinning that foam roller against the wall. And we're gonna go up and down. Guess what? I'm being a little ginger on this side. You know why? I got a, a COVID vaccine a couple days ago. So it's tender. This is the deltoid muscles right where they give you your vaccine, that shot and that round muscle in the top of your shoulder. So well, up and down and then go ahead and twist. So you're bringing your body in towards the wall and then away from the wall. And the foam roller is pretty much staying in place because now you're working 
you're moving that muscle against the foam roller. Okay. Up and down again. So yes, like I said, anytime after uh, our fit camp workouts that you're really feeling some shoulder fatigue, this is this is a nice one to pop into and really easy. Just as you're standing there, sandwich this foam roller between yourself and the wall and go go at it a little bit up and down and then left and right. Rotate your body in and away from the wall. Good. Okay, so now we got a little massage happening in the shoulders. Let's do a little stretch in that same area. So you're gonna grab your strap or whatever you have to stretch with today. I would like you, we're gonna stretch the right arm to start with. So you're gonna grab both ends of your stretching implement in your right hand. So you're gonna go into a lunge. Well, not a lunge, you're just kind of like split stance like this with your left leg behind you. It's important, so step on the middle of that strap with your left leg. Right, so you've got the strap in your right hand, stepping on it with your behind leg, which is your left. And what I'd like you to do is kind of reach down on that strap towards your foot and then stand up as you are pulling on that strap. So what this should do is give you a stretch in your shoulder. Now, really important thing here, pay attention to which direction your hand is turned. Your palm needs to be facing away from you, behind you. In other words, like this not in front of you, but you need to twist your hand to be behind you. And that is gonna make all the difference in you actually feeling it pull through that deltoid. One thing you can also do, so you're stretching the right side here. If you kind of tilt your neck, your head to the left, you'll feel that stretch come even beyond your shoulder muscle up into your neck and shoulder a little bit. So this, this is just a really nice way to connect those two areas. Yeah, so you're stepping on with the left, grabbing with the right, and making sure that your palm is facing behind you. All right, okay, switch sides. So now we're gonna grab both ends with the left hand, and we're going to step forward with the left foot, back with the right, and the bottom of that strap goes underneath the right leg that's behind you and reach down a little bit on the strap with the left hand and get a grip and then pull your body to the right side a little bit and you're going to feel that stretch in through the left shoulder So after this stretch, we are going to move down the arm into the forearm. Like I said, any typing or gripping motions, this is going to feel good and be helpful for those kinds of things. And I do have a picture to show you so we can all visualize the muscles we're working on. So I'm gonna show you that now. So, we got the typewriter guy here. So these are the forearm muscles we're gonna work on. So they are in this part of the forearm. The forearm is anything from the wrist all the way up to the elbow, but we're working on the inside. So these are they called the wrist flexors. So these red muscles right here are going to be the main ones that we are focusing on for the next part here. So we're gonna roll them out with a foam roller. I've come up with a little way to do this that actually does, it's a really great stretch and a great foam roll at the same time. So we're gonna assume pretty much like a child's pose position to start out with the, with the forearms on top of the foam roller. So that's our starting position. So already you're probably feeling a nice kind of stretch or a relaxing sensation in your low back. We're gonna start with the left forearm 
So what you're going to do is place the right hand on top of the left forearm. You with me here? And then you're going to rest your head on top of your right hand. And essentially, we are just rolling back and forth in this position, only a couple inches forward and back. And that's all we're doing here is working into that left forearm. And you kind of need to have that right hand on top of your left forearm and then the head in addition, just to give you um, some weight. So without, without that extra weight on top of the left arm, it uh, wouldn't really feel like you were massaging too much, but now we can really get into those left forearm muscles. And we're in a pretty relaxed position. You're not having to hold your head up, just going back and forth as we're working through that left forearm now, make sure your left hand is very relaxed. So you don't wanna have a gripped fist or be holding your hand up. Just let it be loose towards the ground as you roll back and forth on that left forearm. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna stop and do a little stretch. You don't really have to get much of a different position. Same kind of child's pose position with your legs. And we're gonna take our hand just like this on the foam roller. So you're gonna let your fingertips rest on the foam roller and then roll it down towards you until you can feel a good stretch. You wanna start with your hands on top of the foam roller and then roll the foam roller towards you, leaving your fingertips on the foam roller and what you'll feel is a good wrist flexor forearm stretch through your whole forearm on both sides. All right. Okay, so now let's take your right forearm, place that right forearm those red muscles, remember, in the picture, that's what we're working on. Right forearm is going to be on the foam roller. Left hand on top of that right forearm, and then resting your head on that left hand. And we're just going to rock our bodies back and forth. A couple inches forward, a couple inches back. This is, again, least amount of work possible. You're just basically letting yourself rest on this foam roller, and you only have to rock back and forth a couple inches forward and back to really get into those forearm muscles. I know some of you have some gardening coming up, pulling weeds, digging. All right, this is going to feel good if you do this. And the stretching after that. Okay, let's go into that stretch again. So hands are on top of the foam roller. And then you're rolling the foam roller towards yourself. Leaving your fingertips on the foam roller. And pressing down towards the ground with the palms of your hand. And that'll give you that nice stretch throughout those wrist flexors. Coming up, we're gonna start with the upper back and work into some muscles that are called your rhomboids. And that's gonna feel very good. Uh, working in around the scapula. I'm going to show you a picture here, what we're into for that. So on the upper right, we've got these white circles. That's the area that I want you to think about focusing on. So the scapula you can see is right there. So we're going to be not working on the scapula, but just to the edge of it. And that area that's circled with the white circles. So that's what we're going to be working on now with the foam roller. So your foam roller position 
you can start with it right in the middle, but then I want you to scoot off to the side so that when you're rolling up and down, you can get the edge of the foam roller. We're gonna start with the left shoulder blade area. You can get right inside that left shoulder blade. So it's kind of like the rolling that we started out with at the beginning of our class today, but off to the side, offset to the side a little bit. So let's get in position there. And what I'm gonna have you do is stick the edge of that foam roller in that area where we felt, where, we, where I saw on that picture of the white circle. So not on the scapula, but right off to the edge. It should feel good there. So let's find that spot and then bring the elbow in and out. So that left elbow, bring it in towards your nose and then take it out towards the ground. So this is one of those active release techniques where we are holding that spot with the foam roller and then really moving the muscle over back and forth on that foam roller. So you're, you might wanna hold your head with that right hand so you don't feel like you're having to actively hold up your head. Hold your head there and relax the rest of your body. Butt can be on the ground, hips are relaxed, but that left elbow is going in towards the nose and out towards the ground to massage that rhomboid muscle. Good. All right, a few more seconds and then we're gonna switch to the other side. Okay, so now I'm gonna shift the foam roller, move it to your left a little bit so that we can work on that right side. So the edge of the foam roller should be right into the area that is bordering your right scapula. You can start, if you need to start on your scapula, because you can probably feel what the bony part is. So if you need to start and slide off a little bit more towards your spine, that's fine. But right into the edge of that scapula, and then take that right elbow in towards your nose and out towards the ground. So in and out. Meanwhile, pulling your head up with your hand. You don't want to feel like you're doing work in your neck and stressing your neck to hold your head up. Just deep breath, relax, and then in and out with that elbow. We're massaging into that shoulder blade area. Good. So next we're going to do a stretch for this area and something that is going to be familiar to you. We have done it in our fit camp before, but today we have an opportunity to really sink into it, right? The fit camp stretches are a little bit quicker because it's not a stretching class, it's a exercise class, but this is going to get us a chance to really get into the stretch. So. Let's come off of the foam roller, set that aside. What we're gonna do is all fours. You're gonna thread your right hand under your body, palm towards the ceiling, and then rest your right ear or the right side of your head, your right temple on the mat. And what I want you to do, really relax that left forearm onto the mat is really Think into this stretch. Really take some deep breaths. And just feel that stretch pulling all through the shoulder and the shoulder blade area. If you need to readjust and stick that right arm even further, reach even further underneath your body as you feel like you're loosening up a little bit through this stretch. Like I said, we have a really good chance to sink down into the stretch now, really feeling that twist through the upper back. Right. If 
few more seconds before we take it to the other side. All right, let's come up. And now we're gonna take our left arm and do the same thing. Thread it under your body, palm towards the ceiling, left side of your head on the mat. Good. And we are holding there. Taking some deep breaths and relaxing through that stretch in the shoulder and the back. Feel like you need more of a stretch here you can even you know we're stretching the left side here but if you take your right side and kind of press that like try to rotate up a little bit bring that right shoulder even further away from the mat that will intensify the stretch but if you need it that's there for you if not just just hang out here with me for a few more seconds Okay, all right. We are gonna move down the back now. One final picture for you and a little bit of an explanation. So we're gonna work on the low back now. I think you all probably know what a sacrum is, but just so we're all on the same page, I'm gonna show you a picture of where we're gonna be working. This blue body here, bottom right corner with this white, white dotted line. So the red area is the sacral area. And we're gonna work on this white line is where we're gonna put the foam roller. Um, we're gonna do what's called a myofascial release where we're stretching the fascia. So I would like to give you a quick overview of what that means. So everybody just take it for a second, take your hand and stretch it like this, like pull your fingers in towards your forearm you feel that stretch across the top of your hand, right? That's the stretch sensation. So myofascial release is where you are stretching, but you're really stretching using like a skin movement. So if you take your fingers, place them on top of your hand and then just push like that. Do you feel that little stretch sensation like across your hand just from pushing this way on the skin? It's subtle, it's not as intense as before, but there's a little stretch sensation. So that is kind of what we're going for with myofascial release. That stretching skin sensation really can help relieve a lot of tension. And we're gonna try that together with the low back. So what that means, and I assure you, none of you can see each other on this screen is we're going to need to put that <laughs> foam roller actually on the skin uh, to get that stretch sensation, because what we're gonna do is place it like that dotted line right above the sacrum and actually push down a little bit to get that skin stretch sensation. And in order to get like a grip, like we had when we push the skin back on our hand, you really wanna have the foam roller in contact with your skin. So we're gonna start with the feet up on the chair like this and then putting the foam roller where that white dotted line was. So I would like you to get into position. So knees should be bent as much as you can get them and just hanging out on the chair. And then foam roller is going to be right above your sacrum. So not right in the middle of it, but right at the top of it. Everybody there with me. And then, and if you can get the foam roller right against your skin, what we're gonna do is just ever so slightly push that foam roller towards the chair. And this is analogous to that push I had you do on your hand, right? It's not a lot of movement, but what you should feel immediately is like a little bit of a stretching sensation in that low back. Almost feels like traction if any of you have had traction before and you know what that feels like. 
but you don't have to press, you know, the foam roller doesn't really even have to move that much for you to get that myofascial release sensation. So there's a thin layer of tissue between your skin and your muscle, and that's called fascia. And that is what we're working on right now. We're not really working on muscle per se. I mean, the muscle is affected by this, but we are targeting that fascial layer here. And you can move the foam roller down like another inch down your sacrum, and then go into that again. If you're pushing that foam roller down towards the chair and it really only needs to move like a half inch or an inch for you to feel. Hopefully we're all feeling this nice low back stretching sensation here. So one of the many massage techniques we go over, well, we haven't gone over that one yet, but myofascial release can be very effective in releasing tension. Okay, so when you're doing this now or on your own, it can be a pretty long hold. You can hold it for a minute or two, um, really, to, to get it to relax. You know, it's definitely not one of those things that you rush through. So if, this, if you're doing this now and this feels good to you, I, I recommend definitely repeating it on your own a few times, um, holding for a minute or even more. But I'd like to show you our final stretch. I think you're really going to like it for the low back. And this one is where the pillow or pillows come in. So I'm going to have you sit on your mat. And you're going to take your pillow long ways away from you. So the, the short edge is right up next against your hip. And what you're going to do is bend both of your knees just a little bit like this. And then you're going to twist your torso so that your chest is planted on the pillow. And you just get to hang out here like this. Like I said, if you have really thin pillows, you might feel like you want some more support and throw another one underneath of you. But this should feel like a really good stretch, you're twisting in through the low back, but you're also getting a hip stretch out of this. This is what I love. If you're not really feeling a hip stretch, play around with the angle of your knee, um, bend it or open it up a little bit. And you really want to just be as restful as you can here. I've kind of got my hands resting on my loose, loose fists here. You can actually just rest your head on the mat. Either way, really want to have your upper body twisted so that your chest is as flat on the pillow as you can be. Good. And a few deep breaths here. And switch sides, so legs out. And now you're putting the pillow on the other side of you. So that short end against, right against your thigh, against your hip. Gonna bend your knees just a little bit and then twist your torso so that you can plant your chest right on top of that pillow and rest. So like I said, if that hip that's closest to the pillow doesn't feel a stretch or you want to feel a little different spot, all you have to do is open up the angle of your knee or close the angle, bend your knee a little bit more. And just with little adjustments, you'll feel stretching in different areas of your hip. And this is a great rotational twist in the spine and the low back. After a long day of sitting, this feels good. And even if it's not sitting, anything in the hips, 
that we've done in fit camp will really benefit from this stretch. All right, we're holding a few more seconds. Another deep breath. All right. Okay. Oh, hope you feel as good as I do from that. Um, just a quick note. So this is the last stretch and roll for this month. We're having them twice a week in April. Um, Thursdays at 8 a.m. and then Saturdays at 9.30. And um, also people can sign up just for stretch and roll. So if you know anybody who really fit camps not for them, but they might like this kind of thing, feel free to pass on the word because you can just sign up for stretch and roll. Um, before we go, does anyone have any questions about that or fit camp or stretch and roll or anything? Good. Okay. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, everyone.